Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do your wisdom for the weekday read. This is going to be for the 14th, and we're going to go from Aries to Pisces today. There's little Delilah. She's a little spirit guide and mascot on the channel, and she's right in her little spot like she always is. All right, here we go. It is with an attitude of gratitude. I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relate clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective. And I do mean the higher good. Beginning with Aries. Aries, Aries. Hey, Aries, how are you guys today? Our gods and goddesses of war, firstborn of the Zodiac, natural-born leaders. We were wondering if you could do us a favor and lead everybody else to that like and subscribe button. Please and thank you. We're very appreciative. All right, Aries, hold on a second. We got a little bit of a mess already. Gee whiz. Okay. The energy is phonetic, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right, here we go. You are in the energy of the Four of Wands. So you are stable, harmonious, prosperous, and peaceful. Good for you. You also... Ooh, coming right in, Aries. You're the emperor. You're right in your energy. Look how happy you are. Large and in charge. Solid, dependable, structured. Doesn't matter if you're a male or a female, okay? I'm telling you right now. You're reliable, hardworking. You know, very good. Show me. Oh, boy. Now, at the foundation of a situation, you have a six of wands. So this is some kind of self-confidence, success, recognition, victory, or rewards. You know, no wonder why you're so stable. Oh, I like this energy, Aries. You have an eight of pentacles crowning you. So you're committed, you're investing effort into something. You are, you know, um, an expert at something possibly. You're dedicated. This is very nice. Could be, you know, it could be a person that you're feeling this way about. Or you could be investing this in yourself and committed and dedicated to yourself and working on securing that bag, right? It's something that you, um, okay. Coming in, what you don't see is a Capricorn. Somebody that has Capricorn in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or the devil himself. Any kind of toxic, hellish situation that you can, you know, fathom is on its way in. Sex, drugs, rock and roll, lies, manipulation. So be careful of that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We also have a Queen of Wands. This is you, Aries. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So your energy is very strong here, okay? Um, but if this isn't you, this is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that, you know, is coming in to do damage. So be careful. However, you're, you know... You're going to see this for what it is. You're going to see this for what it is. You got the hangman in your environment. So, you know, this is um, this is maybe feeling stuck in a situation or being trapped and bound. The hangman is also, um, you know, some kind of um, lack of direction or needing to let go of something. I don't know what that is, but it's going to be different for everybody. Here we go. Spirit is advising you the princess of swords. So male or female... What you're being advised is to be communicative, energetic, you know, curious, smart. Think about what you're doing. Um, you know, also, you know, be very straightforward with things. Be very straightforward. Okay. The most likely outcome, Aries, is the magician. Nice. Gemini energy. Some of you might have this in your chart, but you are in manifestation mode. Your third eye chakra is open. You can see clearly. I'm hearing Johnny Mathis now. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. So, yeah. Some of you, you know, you're manifesting your future. And it's going to happen fast. You're going to happen fast. Look, you got the cancer for the chariot. This is having a focal point and shooting right for it. All right, so this is good. You are manifesting your future and you're going after it. You have Cancer, Gemini. Uh, the hangman is Pisces. We do have um, Capricorn here and this is you, Aries. So God bless you and we hope you have a great day. Thank you again for hitting the like and subscribe. Love and light. Next up is Taurus. 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 Hey, Taurus, how are you guys? We hope all is well and you're having a great day and a nice week. Um, what's today? Oh, happy hump day. Well, whenever you come across this. So listen, we've been wondering if you could do us a solid and please hit that like and subscribe. We are so truly grateful for that. Nothing but an attitude of gratitude around here, right? Exactly. That's how you manifest more things to be grateful for. Yeah. Okay. So now you got a six of cups. <sighs> so there could be some kind of, you could be feeling a little nostalgic and having, I'm hearing memories like the corners of my mind. But listen, you know, yeah, it's okay to be a little nostalgic and have memories and be a little sentimental, but it's not going to get you anywhere. So don't stay in this energy. 
Either that or somebody or some people, something from the past is coming back around. It is the holiday season, so, you know, there's that. You got a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Who is your daddy? That's your daddy, okay? This is somebody who's kind, loving, nurturing, affectionate, warm, supportive. The whole thing. The whole nine. You know, the whole nine yards. Okay, so now, four of wands. In your... Uh, foundation of your situation, you have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is Aries energy for stability, harmony, prosperity, and peace. Crowning you, you have an Eight of Swords. Oh, Nelly. Okay, so listen. The Eight of Swords is, you know, isolation, being trapped in your own mind. It's a restrictive energy. It's something that you cause yourself. But this is my two fries short of a happy meal ready for the Dorazine Shuffle at Bellevue's card. So you, some of you, you really got, you, with these ruminating thoughts and these worries, and it's not going to help any kind of situation. So snap out of it, yeah? Okay. All right, there you go. Show me. Ace of Swords. Nice, my favorite ace. Listen. Taurus, you're going to have some kind of clarity or some kind of victory. There's going to be a breakthrough in a situation. Then maybe you're going to come up with some kind of a new idea. Focus somewhere. That's, it, it's a truth, though. It's a, it's a conquest. It's a triumph. So we like that. That's coming in, which you don't see. So if you're worried about something, don't be, because guess what? Princess of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. This is, you know, maybe a younger water sign or somebody that has water in their chart. That's very kind, caring. It's like the big sister of the bunch, right? Nurturing. They lend you their clothes. Maybe teach you how to make out when you were younger. Something like that, right? Okay. Now you got a queen of swords. Um, so this is in your actual environment. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The queen of swords, uh, you know, you could be single. Um, somebody could have did some fugazi shit behind your back. But... Uh, the Queen of Swords is very honest. She's a quick thinker, male, female, perceptive, independent, constructive, and objective. Now, yep, we're going to take them. You, ooh, you also have a Queen of Wands in your environment. But this is also the advice from Spirit Column. So, in the advice connotation, be confident, be passionate, be charismatic, vibrant, and optimistic. Because guess what you got coming in, Taurus, a Ten of Cups. This is ultimate happiness. Happy wife, happy life. Emotional fulfillment. Could be with the Prince of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You know, this is the big brother. So now I'm hearing, now I'm hearing the baby of the bunch. But that's okay. I still keep in stride. So what do we have here? We don't have, uh, you know, really any major arcanas, guys. So it's any sign. You got swords, cups. I don't see any pentacles, though. So no, no earth signs, Taurus. But you got uh, a lot of air and water here. That's what it is. So you take it. Sun, moon, rising of Venus. Thank you so much for hitting that like and subscribe. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Next up is Gemini. Gemini, 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 Gemini. What's up, Gemini? How are you guys today? We hope you're enjoying your week and you're having a very good day. Uh, if nobody told you today, Delilah Tiberius said, I love you. She's there. She's just sleeping. And um, we were wondering if you could please do us a solid and hit that like and subscribe. Thank you so much. We are so grateful. Okay, show me Gemini. Gemini. Oops. Okay, Gemini. Oh, boy. You're in the Four of Cups? What is this? What is this, Gemini? What are you contemplating about? What are you feeling a, a sense of disconnection or boredom right now? What's going on with that? Okay, show me. Okay. You have a princess of wands. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be a younger fire sign around you. Maybe you're having some kind of a disconnection with somebody that's like that, Gemini. Um, it's not making you very happy, is it? Maybe some of you are, yeah, sad about something here. Okay, you got an ace of swords in reverse at the foundation of the situation. So there was some kind of confusion, hostility, and clouded judgment. Possibly even a miscommunication. Um, that happens here, okay? Uh, you got a four of pentacles crowning you. So listen, you got to, you know, you got to hold back. Don't share anything, okay? This is what you're gonna either. Uh, there could be some kind of a legacy, or there could be some kind of um, inheritance here, or something like that. Don't let anybody know anything. Just you keep it on the down low. Spirit says keep everything on the down low, okay? Now, yeah, what did I just tell you? Keep it on the down low. Thank you, spirit and ancestors. Um, cancer energy. Listen. Even, you know, this is you keeping stuff on the down low. Could be an earth sign involved. Or, you know, somebody that's 
um, lies. I'm hearing secrets, things being done behind your back that you don't know, okay? It could be Fugazi. I mean, usually it's Fugazi stuff that would make you cry, right? So uh, it could be a Cancer or a Pisces coming in. Oh, boy. You're a little stuck in a situation here, right? You feel trapped, maybe confined. Maybe there's something you need to let go, Gemini. I'm hearing, let it go, let it go, let it go. You got a two of pentacles. So in an actual environment, you might be, you know, being very resourceful right now and balancing yourself out. Show me. What's the advice from spirit on this? Please and thank you. You do have a three of pentacles. You got to learn how to work better with other people, okay? You have to learn how to collaborate, but not giving all your information away, okay? Just, you know, you're, okay, your co-workers are not your friends, all right? So you could be collaborating with people. You could have shared goals and work together, maybe teaching somebody or learning something, but you don't have to let everybody know your business, all right? That's what that is. So just, yeah, on the down low, like I said, six of swords. So here you go. The six of swords talks about transition. Moving on, accepting your lessons, you know, uh, yeah, it's a departure. So that's good. I mean, you know, you put distance between you and whoever wants to put these swords in your back. Why do you have to do this and keep your mouth shut? Because I'm going to tell you. You have a ten of pentacles here. Oh, and the empress. Hot dang. Because there was judgment called. I got to go. Queen of pentacles. Look at this. Look at the money that you have. Oh, my God. Gemini, my arms, my hair on my arms is standing up. Listen to me. Financial security. Again, uh, you know, yeah, this is good. I mean, we love the Ten of Pentacles here. You know what I'm saying? This is a, a good foundation of stability, wealth, even maybe an inheritance or a legacy. So obviously it's going to put you into Empress uh, status, male or female. So what do we have here on the board? You got the Hangman, which is Pisces. You got the Moon, which is Cancer or Pisces. And that's about it. There are Pentacles, Wands, and Cups, and Swords. Oh my, oh my. So yeah, there you go, Gemini. Could be any sign, just stay vigilant. We love you, and thank you again for hitting that like and subscribe. Clear and ground for cancer. 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 Hi, Cancer. How are you guys? We hope all is well, and you're having a great week and a nice day. And if nobody told you today, Cancer, Delilah Tiberius and I love you. So could you do us a solid, and please hit that like and subscribe. We have nothing but gratitude for that, so thank you ahead of time. Show me Cancer. What's Cancer got going on today? Cancer. I'm hearing that song. I can make your hands clap. I don't know, Cancer. You had a good mood today? You got the world. You got the whole world. <laughs> wow, what's going on? That energy's been phonetic. Okay, so you got success, achievement, accomplishment. You completed something. Got your degree. And now you're off to rule the world. Everybody wants to rule the world. Okay, what? Well, we got a breakthrough. Look at this. Cancer. Some kind of a breakthrough, some kind of a truth, some kind of a clarity, some kind of a victory in a situation. This is so good. Well, I told you, you just victoriously completed. You got, oh, we don't like this freaking card. Thank God it's at the foundation of the situation. Ten of Swords. So somebody stuck a bunch of swords in your back. You were obligated, burnt out, going, the struggle is real, okay? Maybe over, yeah, too much responsibilities. Show me. Five of Pentacles. So, you know what? Crowning you right now, Cancer, maybe you have to leave somebody out in the cold. Maybe somebody's going to leave you out in the cold. But it's it's a hardship. It's a loss. It's isolation. It's struggle. It could be unemployment, poverty, you know. So be careful. Let's see. This Ten of Swords could have put you in some kind of a financial bind. Maybe it was somebody that you had to leave out in the cold. Or whoever did this left you out in the cold. That's crowning you right now. Some kind of financial... Uh, or emotional loss. You do have the three of pentacles coming in, which you don't see. So there's going to be people that um, have shared goals with you, okay? And they, you know, you could be an apprentice. In other words, uh, it requires teamwork. Maybe you're going to be teaching somebody something or learning something. But working well with others. That's what that is. Um, there's a breakthrough in a situation. So that's good. You like that. Show me what's in the environment. The cancer. The environment cancer is the two of wands. So that you are inspired, you know, maybe something that you find passionate to go be successful. It's the first steps in planning. So, if, excuse me, here goes the nose. If you were in some kind of financial um, hardship here, you, you're right in the process right now of taking the first steps to get yourself out of it. If it was an emotional hardship, you know, you're learning how to work well with others. Now, there was a breakthrough and now you're taking the first steps to um, heal. Heal, I'm hearing. So, yeah. Yeah, it could be in some kind of denial. This is the advice. Don't be in denial, all right? Don't. Um, the two of swords, you know, you could be stuck in the middle, maybe having to make a difficult choice. 
could be a difficult choice about leaving somebody out in the cold. And uh, there's a king of cups here. Daddy's home to stay, okay? Male, female. Loving, kind, warm, nurturing energy. Somebody who's affectionate and emotionally mature. You do have a Leo at the bottom of the deck or your strength. So it depends, you know. Um, it could be a Leo or somebody with Leo in, your, in their chart. Even you around you or around you. Or you could just be being very strong and resilient. Having a lot of, uh, you know, confidence, bravery, and overcoming self-doubt. So you have Leo and... Um, and you have, yeah, that's about it. Wow. Okay. So other than that, you do have all the other archetypes down there. So it could be any sign, Cancer. Okay. Next up is Leo. Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. All right. Here we go. All right, Leo. We hope you're having a really good week and a wonderful day. Nobody told you today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. And if you could please do us a solid and hit that like and subscribe, we have nothing but gratitude for that. Thank you so much. Show me what Leo needs to see today. Mink, right out. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Warm, loving energy. This could be a mom, a mother figure, or, um, you know, we like the Queen of Cups. She's very nurturing. She could be overgiving, so be careful of that. We got a Five of Wands. So this is conflict, arguments, and disputes with the Five of Wands. This is uh, tension aggression, competition, and disagreement. So some of you could be in a, in, you know, in a disagreement or have some kind of stressful situation going on with the Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Now, at the foundation of this situation, there was a breakthrough, a truth came out, okay? Some kind of clarity in a situation. Um, yeah, so this is the facts card. Uh, crowning you, you have the four of pentacles holding back. Uh, holding on tightly, uh, not sharing, not sharing anything materialistically, financially, not even your words, your thoughts, your affection. So maybe you're going to be, that's like a closed off energy. Coming in, what you don't see is a tower. Uh-oh, Leo, what's going on? Some kind of a break. Oh my God, this is a surprise and a shock. Listen, somebody's coming in to break up that house. The break up of a foundation, I'm hearing. So... Yeah, you got a surprise. This is Scorpio energy. It's going to be some kind of a surprise and a shock. Uh, you know, the tower is uh, usually chaos, destruction, trauma, uh, unexpected change, some kind of loss or tragedy. I don't know. Yeah, eight of wands. Now, you're going to be moving quickly. Maybe this tower, you know, uh, you could be moving very quickly. This is rapid forward movement. So this tower may catapult you because that's what that looks like, right? Like they're catapulting uh, into some kind of forward action in some area of your life. You could also be having, you know, they say this is communication. So they could be fast texts and phone calls and stuff like that. But this is actual, like, movement. So some of you could even be getting in the car and uh, going to visit relatives maybe for the holidays or friends and vice versa. Some of you could have Gemini in your chart or there's a Gemini in your environment. But this is manifesting, um, you know, this is the alchemist, right? Your third eye chakra is open so you can see everything clearly now. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles. Okay, so listen here. Has your advice, spirit is advising you. You got Virgo energy here, okay? Maybe you need to go into um, a time of solitude and, and do some soul searching. Maybe try to get some spiritual enlightenment. Reflect on your life and go by your inner guidance. You know, ascend. Spirit's advising you to ascend. You do have a seven of wands. So, you know, this is defending yourself. This is competition. This is uh, protectiveness. Persevering, though. Holding them back. Holding people back. Some of you could be, you know, that looks like a, some of you could, you know, yeah, not even be wanting visitors. This person looks like, don't even come here for the holidays. Yeah. So maybe some of you are just not wanting visitors because it looks like they're defending some kind of property here. But you got a seven of cups. So listen, the seven of cups. This is, could be an illusion or a fantasy. There could be, you know, some kind of dread dreaming, some kind of indecision. But if it is a lot of choices that you have, you're not happy with any one of them. This person looks like they're in agony, right? They're having some kind of a, I don't know, digestive issue or something. I mean, they're worshiping some kind of deity. The problem is that in this person's head up here in the, in the land of illusion, they're thinking about somebody from their past. See, this person that got away. Okay, there's a person here down the road already. Down the road again. So no matter what's in these cups, these cups can be filled with gold, jewels, and everything wonderful in the world that you can think of. Um, and it's not fulfilling them because in their mind, they want something else. They want whoever this is. Okay, so that's, yeah. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Most likely an Aries with this Emperor card. 
All right, so they could be thinking about somebody from their past. I mean, you could be. Yeah, there's going to be fairness and balance brought into a situation, though. And then somebody's going to be really working their ass off and being committed. So, I mean, this is all good. Um, so, let's not go back that far back because I can get lost going doing that. I can go through the whole deck. So, for you today, uh, Leo, you have Virgo, Gemini, Scorpio, and, uh, yeah, other than that, you know, it's any, any particular cup. So... Thank you, Leo, for joining us and hitting that like and subscribe. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Next up is Virgo. Virgo, 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 Virgo. So, hey, Virgo, how are you guys? We hope all is well, and you're having a wonderful day and a great week. If nobody told you today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you, and we hope that you would be kind enough to give us a solid and hit that like and subscribe, please and thank you. We are very grateful for that. Show me. Virgo. Okay, Virgo. You got a Ten of Cups. So there's some kind of emotional fulfillment for you. That's really good. That's a happy wife, happy life card, right? Um, you got a Two of Wands. This could have been something that you were very inspired to acquire, like that, you know. The two of Wands is taking first steps in a direction. So, you, you know, it's usually something that you're passionate about. And so some of you, at the foundation of the situation, there could have been a Leo involved, or somebody that had Leo in their chart, but conflict, struggles, and disputes with somebody, arguing, some kind of competition. You've got a Ten of Pentacles. Look, you've got a Ten of Cups. Hey, Virgo, who's better than you today? Wow. <coughs> you got financial security hitting you in the head. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> and there goes my nose, and I'm going to start choking him. So listen, that's really good. This is financial stability, family gain, you know. Secure, I mean, a game, just, yeah. Ten of Pentacles is like a legacy money. It's an inheritance, it's stability, privilege, wealth. Good for you. Now, coming in, what you don't see is the Seven of Cups. So, you know, you could have a lot of options. Maybe some, you're not just feeling like any of them are what you want, because look at this person bent over. You could be in your mind, up in your head about, um, you know, people or places or things from the past. Um, yeah. That have you know long gone already, so snap out of that. You do have a four of wands as your supporter for this, so you do you know this is Aries energy, stability, harmony, prosperity, and peace. So maybe some of you want some kind of harmony and peace with somebody that you're remembering from the past. I don't know that you know you're not feeling fulfilled here. <clears throat> maybe it could be an Aries, and you do have a queen. Oh, what did I say? Maybe it could be an Aries, and then I flipped the queen of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, this is in your environment. Some of you probably have fire in your chart. This is somebody who's, um, yeah, the Queen of Wands is confident, passionate, charismatic, optimistic, vibrant, and self-assured, right? They don't take no nonsense, so they just assume stick you in the head with a fork that they fed you with, right? You do have Eight of Wands. So, it, listen, there's going to be some fast forward movement here. This is swift, hasty activity. This talks about... Uh, you know, it could be any kind of uh, communication, text, phone calls, stuff like that. But also, um, you know, it could be traveling as well. So it is, it's it's, it's uh, fast forward movement, rapid, rapid. I'm hearing rapid. And you do have a Six of Cups here. So Six of Cups is about um, nostalgia, memories. You know, it has to do with your past, people from the past being very sentimental. So, it could be, you know, holidays coming around, you might see people from the past. Now, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck talks about profit, results, progress, rewards, growth, and patience. It's watching your garden grow, okay? It's watering it with the miracle grow, pruning it, and then watching it grow. So, what you have here is uh, mostly Aries and Leo, okay? But you do, and there's, I don't see any swords, really. So, you have mostly um, water and uh, fire on the chart. So, on the board. Thank you for hitting the like and subscribe, Virgo. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Next up is Libra. Libra. Hi, Libra. How are you guys? <clears throat> we hope you're having a great day, a beautiful week. We love you so much. You have no idea. Here's little Delilah. She's out for the count, okay? And, um... If you can find it in your heart to hit that like and subscribe and do us the solid, we'd be, I mean, we're grateful to have you anyway, whether you do or you don't. We really, we live with an attitude of gratitude anyway. But if you could just hit the like and subscribe, you know, that'd be that much more gratitude. Thank you. Okay, show me Libra. Prince of, oh, what do you got going on here? I'm not taking the, starting out with all kinds of people already, Libra. 
My goodness gracious, everybody all up in your business here? You got a nine of cups? I like that better. We have some kind of success on the board for you. After a period of uh, being burdened down, all right? You must have just come, you must have had too much responsibility and been overly obligated to something or someone. The struggle is real, I'm hearing. Maybe it was a sense of duty or like you were owed somebody, so I don't know what. But you have success now. You're, you're in a successful, uh, yeah, look, the Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning at the foundation of the situation. Could have been some kind of financial new beginning. But whatever it is, it, you know, it's, it's brings you contentment and happiness. Okay, now you got a king of wands. I'm sorry, I got to fix it. You know how it is. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it's about to crown you. <laughs> okay, um, so somebody who's a visionary, a leader, they take control, they're daring, decisive, they're bold. And um, are you okay over there, Delilah? Sorry, Libra. Um, so if you, you might have uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your chart. And be this person take or you somebody that's a king of wands is coming in, they're coming in hot. <laughs> You're in, okay, fire! Oh look, yeah, they're coming in hot. What did I tell you for emotional stability and happiness and fulfillment? Good girl, Delilah. That's a good girl. Whose water fountain is that? All right, Libra. That's, this one wants to come out. It's poking at me. So here you go, uh, Queen of Pentacles. Nice, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. So this is you know you may be very financially stable right now. Solid, male or female, okay? Somebody who's reliable, confident, um, hardworking. This is why. You're going to get the Ten of Cups, then you're going to be the Queen of Pentacles. So let me just tell you something. The Queen of Pentacles, you know, they have their shit together. So now you got Three of Pentacles. So in your environment right now, you could be uh, collaborating with some somebody or something. You could be working hard. Um, I'm hearing at the car wash. Oh, whoa. Some of you could be getting your car washed. I don't know. But uh, the Three of Pentacles, you know, this talks about um, some kind of apprenticeship or effort that you're putting into something. Working well with others. Ooh, listen. All right, so listen. The moon. All right, so as an advice, the moon is, you know, just to, to keep everything on the down low. You don't need to be telling anybody your business, okay? It's Cancer or Pisces energy, but it's, it's coming in as an advice. So it's not trying to say like, oh, there's fugazi things going on behind your back that you don't know. There could be. Anytime, always. Always stay frosty. What I'm saying here is that Spirit is telling you to be quiet about things. You don't need to be telling everybody. You don't need to be lying to people, but you don't even have to like engage, I'm hearing, engage. Um, Nine of Swords. Why? Because this is stress. This is, uh, you know, resilience. This is, uh, God, I hate the Nine of Swords. This could be some kind of depression, fear, anxiety, negativity, whatever it is, you know, this is, um, this is staying up all night, not sleeping, you know, so be careful of this. We don't want you in this energy, Libra. We really love you here. You got a Princess of Pentacles here, Virgo Capricorn. Ooh, and a new offer of love. Look at this. Yep, 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 yep. You might not want to see it coming, but you could be having a new offer of love with an earth sign coming. So, you got Cancer and Pisces. And other than that, I mean, there's a lot of pentacles, so you're sitting good financially. And then you got a lot of cups. Um, it could be anybody, right? Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, male or female. All right, hold on. Let me just fix this a second. I'm full with the freaking chair again, as usual. Okay. Next up is Scorpio. Let's clear and ground for Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio, how are you guys? We hope everything's great. You're having a great day, a beautiful week. And if you can do us a solid and hit that like and subscribe, please. And thank you. We're very, very grateful for that. Um, here we go. Okay. Let's let's see. How are we going to help Scorpio today? Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. Okay, you got uh, three of pentacles in your, uh, coming out. So you could be collaborating with somebody. You could be working hard. Um, you know, the three of pentacles talks about some kind of shared goals, effort, Teamwork, right? Of some sort. I don't know. Okay. You do have a two. Ooh. So maybe, you know, there's some kind of reciprocated offer of emotions. Now, listen. You know, obviously, this could be romantic. The Two of Cups talks about emotions. Period. So that's usually romantic. However, being that you got this Three of Pentacles here, this could, you know, this could be somebody that just you and somebody else uh, feel this. Maybe you're friends and you feel, this, you know, the same way about each other. You got the same outlook on life and you have the same uh, goal. Some kind of teamwork here. And if it's romantic, you know, that's good, too, because now, you know, you're on the same page. At the foundation of the situation, you have a four of cups. So, you know, there could have been some discontentment, a disconnection, some kind of boredom, indifference, not getting a feeling of fulfillment. Yeah, you could, be, you could have been contemplating things very deeply. 
crowning you, you got Aquarius energy, the star. So hope for your future. Beauty, brilliance, inspiration. Yeah, gift from the divine, right? Some kind of enlightenment, maybe. You got a seven of cups uh, coming in that you don't see. So, you know, the seven of cups, it's illusion, fantasy, wishful thinking. It could be a lot of choices, but uh, maybe you're not happy with these choices, Scorpio. Look, because you're not even looking at these cups. You're busy bent over in agony, uh, you know, thinking about really having a fantasy here. Thinking about somebody maybe from the past that, that walked away, right? So... Snap out of that, because that's not going to help you. Now, you also have a five, yeah, loss and sadness. So five of pentacles, some kind of um, hardship, destitution, financial poverty, being left out in the cold. What I tell? Somebody that left you out in the cold, right? Either you left somebody out in the cold, or they left you out in the cold, or, yep, something like that. Some of you could be unemployed. You do have success in your environment, though, so um, that's a good thing. We like the success card, nine of pentacles, right? And also... Uh, the emperor is the advice. So you need to be more stable and more dependable. You need to be more structured and logical, okay, and practical. This is what? Aries energy. Some of you maybe have the Aries in your chart or, um, you know, it could be an Aries around you, but this is what you, also you have Leo. You have to be strong here. This is the most likely outcome. It's Leo energy for strength. Um, so there could be a Leo at the end of this, or, you know, you could have to be being courageous, brave, confident, you know, um, Overcoming any self-doubt. Uh, and you got a four of pentacles here. So somebody's holding back or holding on. Four of pentacles is holding on tightly. Four of pentacles talks about, um, you know, um, materialism or hoarding. People that don't want to share. They don't want to uh, open up. They don't want to share their thoughts, their words, their feelings, or anything that they have materialistically or monetarily. So, yeah. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So you got strength, which is Leo. You got an emperor, which is Aries. And you have Aquarius here. So thank you again for joining us and uh, hitting that like and subscribe, Scorpio. Enjoy the rest of your day and we will talk to you tomorrow. Next up is Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Hey, Sagittarius, how are you guys? We hope all is well and you're having a great week and enjoying your day. And if nobody told you today, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you very much. And we were wondering if you could please find it in your heart to hit like and subscribe. Did I say Aquarius or Sagittarius? We're doing Sagittarius. <clears throat> yep, I might have said Aquarius. I don't know what I said, but this is for Sagittarius. So that was all for Sagittarius. All right, show me Sagittarius. I got to tell you, I'm pathetic. Even writing it down and crossing it off, I get lost. I mean, really, it's terrible. It's shameful. Five of Pentacles. So some of you could be experiencing some kind of financial hardship, maybe lose loss of a job or, you know, Something like this. It is loss, hardship. It is destitution. The five of pentacles is um, poverty in some kind of a way. It's isolation. It's a struggle. Show me. Okay. So, mm. it could be a prince of cups around you. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, Sag. And, uh, you know, this is somebody who's younger. Maybe they're coming in to offer you some kind of a... You know, like to ask around on a date or something. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus, I said, right? You got Gemini energy in the in the uh, foundation of the situation. So there must have been some kind of relationship. Maybe that, you know, somebody had to make a choice. There was some kind of choice made, okay? Probably about a relationship, Sag. Now, crowning you, you got a princess of pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, right? This is somebody who's... Um, very stable and hardworking, very reliable, male or female, okay? They actually want to become the king or queen of pentacles one day. So they are studious and, uh, you know, they're confident and uh, on their way to financial success. So here you go, Sag. Four of pentacles coming in what you don't see. Holding back, being quiet, holding on, not sharing too much of your wealth, your words, your wisdom. Nothing like this, okay? Keep everything on the down low. Yeah, really, with the hermit. The hermit is a, a solitary person that doesn't talk to anybody, right? They do a lot. There's a Virgo. It could be a Virgo coming in for you around Sagittarius. But this is uh, somebody who spends a lot of time alone. They they do a lot of uh, reflecting. They look for spiritual enlightenment. They do introspection, right? Um, and they follow their own... Uh, yeah, this is good. They follow their own inner guidance, like... The wise old sage, right? You got a four of cups in your environment right now, Sag. So it could be that you're um, you're disconnected or there's some kind of boredom there. Or maybe some kind of um, indifference. You could be in deep contemplation about something right now, Sag. 
You do have the magician. Oh, great. So your third eye is open and you're able to see. There could be a Gemini around you, but Spirit's advising you to start alchemizing, okay? Start manifesting and alchemizing because um, I'm hearing the, the power is with you. I don't know, but okay. It's time. I mean, it's time to start manifesting your future here. So, that. Yeah, what did I tell you? Start working well with others, collaborating, find people with, the, you know, shared, shared goals. You got a higher font. Maybe, you know, some of you um, are going to be starting some businesses. And this is anything traditionalism, you know, paperwork, like legal documents that need to be signed. Be careful of anything you're signing. Marriage, um, religion, the higher font in and of themselves. Taurus energy is somebody that could, that oversees things like a judge or, you know, they can make decisions for you. It could be a priest. So, you, you know. Some of you might be getting married or engaged for the holidays, especially with the lovers here in the higher front, right? You're going to make a decision about that. It could be with the Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, particularly a Virgo or a Gemini, okay? So there you go. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for hitting that like and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow, guys. All right, Sag. Next up is Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Hey, Capricorn, how are you guys? We hope you're having an amazing week. We hope you're having a really great day. And um, if you could do us a solid and please hit that like and subscribe. We're very, truly grateful for that. And here we go. Show us our cappies. Capricorn. Show me. All right, Capricorn. Let's see what you have. Three of Pentacles. So you could be having some shared goals or collaborations with somebody. Or you could be working well with others right now. Trying to be an apprentice. Maybe learn something new or teach somebody something. Um, this could be like some kind of a new, yeah, this could be some kind of a new business or something with this higher font. This is traditionalism at its best, okay? This is anything that uh, goes along with the norms of society. So it could be anything legal. It could be documentation that you have to sign. Like if you were collaborating with somebody and, you, you know, like in a new business, the, the, it's Taurus energy. The higher font in and of himself is somebody that oversees things. They can make decisions for you, uh, like a judge. Um, you do have... Uh, in the foundation, Gemini and GF for lovers. So this card means that a decision has to be, or had to be rendered. Huh, isn't that odd? Rendered. I never said that before. But um, it could have been in a relationship. So maybe right now you're learning how to work well with others. Some of you must have maybe just came through a divorce. There was a decision made. Right? This is what I'm thinking. I'm feeling it. Spirit's saying, yeah, this is possibly. So listen, Capricorn. Maybe some of you might, some of you might have Gemini in your chart or Taurus, and um, now you're trying to work well with others. You got Eight of Swords here, crowning you. This is ruminating thoughts. This is oh, my hand is itching. Here we go. Uh, Eight of Swords is um, wow. Sorry, my hand is freaking out. Um, so this is um, isolation trap. It's a restricted energy. It's it's ruminating thoughts in your mind. I always tell you this is my two fries short of a happy meal, ready for the door as you can shuffle in the nut house card. So snap out of that. You could have a Capricorn around you. Oh. This is you, but it could be you. This could be another Capricorn, all right? The devil. Or if it's you, like I was going to say, um, you know, you got to watch out. There could be toxic people around you, any kind of toxicity, sex, drugs, rock and roll, drug addiction. You know, it's time to kick all that to the curb. We're, you know, we're sending into a different time now. So nobody's got time for that. So watch out for any toxic people, manipulators that want to catch you caught in their webs. Well, this is you, Capricorn, and just watch out for any toxicities that you might be indulging in, Okay. Uh, be careful, okay? You got a princess of cups, cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So, you know, you could, <laughs> um, yeah, this is a warm, loving energy, like a big sister energy. So this could be somebody around you that's enticing you to do toxic things with a smile on their face. Like, you better be careful. That's all we got to say. So, now, you got a nine of wands. You have been persevering through something. This is the wounded warrior card, right? This is, uh, you know, yeah, this requires a lot of strength and grit. I mean, you really, you know... So, you also have the four of pentacles. So, you know, hold back. This is your advice. Keep quiet. Stay on the down low. Don't share everything you have. Don't even let people know what you have. Don't even let people know what you're thinking. Um, you know, you just... Yeah, because, yeah. So, you do have a lot of options, possibly. This is an illusion, though. I mean, you know, it could be an illusion. It could be fantasy. It could be just wishful thinking. Daydream. Indecision. However, the problem with this card is that this person's got all these cups that they're not even looking in, okay? They're not even busy looking in them because they're bent over in their mind thinking about something or someone else that maybe got away over there. See that person running away? So, um, yeah, snap out of that. And you have the hermit. Virgo energy. 
So, you know, this is somebody who's very spiritual enlightened, soul searching. They are, they do a lot of self-reflecting. They spend time in solitude. They follow their inner guidance. So you could have a Virgo around or, um, you know, some kind of a wise old sage. I don't know. But you do have Virgo here and this is you, Capricorn. You also have Gemini and Taurus. So thank you again for joining us and hitting that like and subscribe. And we will talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Aquarius. Aquarius. Here we go. Hi, Aquarius. How are you guys? We hope all is well. You're having a great day and also a great week. And if you can hit that like and subscribe for us, we're very, very grateful for that. So show me Aquarius, please, and thank you. This is the age of Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, come on, enough with this. Here we go. Eight of Cups. <clears throat> so what are we doing here? Uh, you know, it's time to let go. It's time to let go, I'm hearing, okay? <clears throat> There's some kind of detachment. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. Letting go. Okay, so this is, uh, wow. You, there could be a lot of things you don't know and you don't see or things that were hidden and done behind your back or whatever. And this is what? You're detaching from all this mystery. I'm hearing this is mystery theater. You know? <laughs> wow, mystery theater. What is, oh my God. So now you got a two of ones. So in your foundation over here, Aquarius, you were inspired to take some kind of beginning steps in some kind of a direction, okay? That's what the two of wands is. It's planning and first steps. It's something that you find passionate that you're going to go look, you know, to get be successful. So whatever that is for you, is going to be different. So yeah, now you catapulted. Eight of wands, rapid forward movement. So you're going to have some rapid forward movement. Now, this could be communication between people without a doubt. But uh, also, it's it's just rapid forward movement, okay? So that could be anything in your life. Swift activity, whatever it is, you know, uh, so everybody's going to have a different uh, nine of wands. So persevering and strength and true grit, you know, just hanging in there even when you don't want to. Delilah's snoring like a man again. You got the five of pentacles here. Um, there could be some kind of financial hardship, uh, loss, some kind of destitution, unemployment, maybe leaving somebody out in the cold or somebody leaving you out in the cold. In your actual environment, you have a high priestess, Pisces energy, so... There's either, excuse me, a Pisces around you. You have Pisces in your chart somewhere. Uh, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Or you're just highly intuitive right now. Okay, even if you're not hanging out with a Pisces or somebody that has Pisces in their chart. Or you don't. You're using your intuition. Now, you have a Six of Cups here. So, Six of Cups, you know, this is nostalgic. This is, um, you know, having memories and uh, being sentimental. Um... You know, so, yeah. And also, it could be people from the past resurfacing. Don't forget the holidays are around now. So, uh, just be careful. Especially if it's somebody from the past you don't want to see. Uh, you do have emperor energy here. That's the most likely outcome. That's a beautiful thing. It's Aries energy, whether you have it in your chart or not. This means that you're stable, dependable, structured, you know, uh, logical. So, this is very good. There's also a queen of cups in your environment. Cancer, Cancer Pisces, or Scorpio. Uh, this is like the mom. This is the mom of all the queens. Somebody who's very giving and loving. Um, kind, nurturing, warm, and affectionate. So you have uh, Aries and Pisces, particularly, and then you have uh, Pisces and Cancer here. And uh, other than that, you, you know, it's mostly wands. But uh, thank you again for joining us and hitting that like and subscribe. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day, Aquarius. Okay, next up is Pisces. Pisces. Hey, Pisces, our little fishies. Last but not least, we love you so much. Um, okay, so in case nobody told you today, yes, we do love you. And uh, if you could please do us a solid, hit that like and subscribe. Um, we're so grateful for that. And thank you so much ahead of time. So let's see what you're up to today. Okay, here we go. Pisces. Clear the ground for Pisces. Show me one card. Okay. We got the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So some of you might have this in your chart. Um, but even if you don't, this is your energy. You are being very confident, passionate, charismatic, vibrant, optimistic, brave. Showing a lot of fortitude. You got a Three of Wands here. So Three of Wands talks about, um, yeah, there could be some kind of um, 
Confidence, yeah, yeah. Looking ahead, leadership and growth. I mean, you have some kind of foresight and you're in some kind of momentum with this Three of Wands. Three of Wands does also talk about, um, you know, some kind of crossroads that you could be at. I mean, that's what they usually say about that, but that's not what I'm getting off of it today. So, um, but, you know, with the Three of Wands, whatever crossroads it is, you know, you have some kind of foresight and you, you're ready to move ahead. You're looking ahead. It's looking ahead for sure. Okay, so now, at the foundation of the situation, there's Leo energy here. Some of you might have this in your chart. Maybe not. There could have just been somebody with Leo in their chart or a Leo around you. But this is somebody who's brave, confident. They overcome self-doubt, okay? Um, courageous. So this could have been you. And also, crowning you, now you have a Queen of Cups. So Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, this could also be you. Or this could be another Cancer Pisces or Scorpio coming into the picture. Who, you know, this is the mom, male or female, somebody who's loving, respond, you know, caring, responsible, warm, affectionate, nurturing, um, maybe even a little overgiving. Show me what's coming in. Oh, nice. Pisces, you got my favorite ace, the ace of swords. This ace brings in clarity, power, victory, a breakthrough, a truth. I'm hearing, I'm a force all by myself, but I'm a vince when we're together. Maybe I'm good by by myself. But baby girl, you make me better. You make me better. I don't know. Maybe some of you are listening to that song. Not by myself. But I'm a force when we're together. I don't know. Some kind of truth and clarity is coming in about something. So, here you go. Oh, boy. You got the devil card. So, it could be having to do with somebody that has Capricorn in their chart or a Capricorn. Maybe you do. But you have to be very careful. Maybe you're going to get a truth about somebody's drug addictions or toxicity or some kind of manipulation that they did. Something like this. Could have been a Capricorn. It's going to be a breakthrough with a Capricorn. Somebody that has Capricorn in their chart. Somebody that maybe had you caught up in some kind of webs and lies. And yeah. Some kind of sex addiction for sure. Look at these people. I'm hearing like bondage. s and <laughs> Like weird. Yeah. Wow. Or drug addiction or something really perverse. Whatever you could think of as being like the most negative hellish thing. Yeah. So maybe you're going to get a truth about somebody that is like bound and tied to some kind of um, toxicity. Or there's going to be a Capricorn coming to give you some kind of a truth. I do not know. It's going to be different for everybody. Now you have Gemini energy. This is crazy. So in your environment, there could be a Gemini. Maybe you have Gemini in your chart somewhere. Or, you know, you, you are manifesting mode. You are alchemizing right now, Pisces. Your third eye chakra is open. Look at you. Oh, my God. Spiritually enlightened. Absolutely. It could be into some kind of metaphysical or uh, esoteric thing here, right? But alchemizing right now. Good for you. You are the, listen, you are the most highly intuitive sign in the, de in, you know, in the whole tarot, right? In the whole zodiac. So, um, this person, obviously, their third eye shock was open and they could see. So, I think you could see your future clearly. That's what the spirit is saying. So, you have a two of wands now. So, here, this is the advice from spirit. Take the first step. You know, even standing up, off, standing up and taking the first step is you're ahead of the person that's sitting on the couch still. So, you know, you could be planning... Uh, taking risks, leaving your comfort zone and making some kind of decisions to move forward in some area in your life. And, and whatever it is, you're passionate about it. And you're, you know, you're going to be inspired to achieve some kind of success. Show me the most likely outcome. Okay. Three of so ooh, ooh, watch out. What did I tell you? Toxicity, cheating, sex. And now you got this three of swords. So listen, be very careful. Really use your intuition here. Be careful with your, you know, especially if this is somebody coming. Oh God. Listen, you could be in some kind of emotional pain at the end of this. So, so please choose your choose your path wisely. Okay? Choose your path wisely. This is usually a third-party situation. This is usually cheating. Now, I'm not going to say you've got a three of wands and a three of swords here. So, and the devil. So what does that tell you? Be careful. Three of swords. We don't like this card. This is heartbreak hotel. This is separation. This is grief. That's what I'm hearing now. I'm hearing... Um, oh, my hand is a chick. I'm hearing... Um, Oh, my God. Elvis Presley. Heartbreak Hotel. Oh, baby. Uh, oh, baby. I'm lonely, baby. Okay, I didn't know, you know. <laughs> yeah, I can't do. Uh, but listen, um, be careful. Somebody might want to try to put you in a third-party situation. And, you know, you... Oh, this is going to be a judgment. Listen, you have the Aquarius at, for the star at the bottom of the deck here, okay? So, you could be manifesting, you know, this... You have hope for the future here. Okay, this could be a gift from the divine. What did I tell you about the esoteric and the metaphysical? This is... This star is shining a light of some kind of... Um, knowledge and wisdom from the universe her crown is lit up her crown chakra i told you that and now you know she's going to spread it out to the rest of the world and spread the word so you have a lot of beauty inspiration and hope for your future right now pisces do not let some toxic ass 
mm, mf her because we can't curse on YouTube no more. It's killing me. Oh, but come in and put you in a third-party situation here, okay? You see how this guy's going like this? Yeah, to him, okay? So this is what we're doing. Screw that. So we love you. Thank you for joining us, all little fishies. Please hit that like and subscribe. And until tomorrow, always leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy because it is an illusion. And trust in God because karma is real. Until tomorrow, love and light.